Hi guys, so today we have a very very exciting video and it's all about my ride or die skincare products. So these are the products I rely on when I've only had four hours of sleep, when I have cystic acne in my chin, or even when I'm having dry patches and texture all over my face. So before we start, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you never miss a beat when I post content like this. So before we begin, I'd like to put out a disclaimer that I am by no means a dermatologist. I'm just someone that's passionate about skincare and does extensive research into the products she tries. Um, I also experiment with products a lot. I usually get bored when I'm halfway through a bottle or when I finish the bottle and I constantly repurchase and rotate many of the products in one category. So the ones that I'll be mentioning today are definitely products that I've constantly repurchased and are really worth your money because they've done miracles for my skin. By the way, I'm combination skin, so that means that I'm oily in my T-zone and then I'm normal everywhere else. Now that that's out of the way, we can start with our first category, which is cleansers. So this first product is probably more suited to people that wear makeup every day and that's a cleansing balm. If you want to melt the super waterproof mascara, the red lipstick, the thick foundation, whatever from your face, this is your girl. So I'm specifically using the one from Vanilla Co and it's their Clean at Zero Oil Cleansing Balm. and. I, this is the first one I've tried actually and I've never experimented with anything else because of how good I think this is. I actually have like maybe six more boxes as backup for this one because of how good it is. Um, this is something that I rely on to really get a lot of the product off my skin and then I follow up with another cleanser. And that next cleanser is most likely going to be micellar water. So this one is specifically from Bioderma and this is suitable for all skin types. So whether you have sensitive skin, oily skin, combination skin, dry skin, she's got you. She's your best friend. Um, this one I think is dermatologist tested and a lot of makeup artists actually use this specific product. Um, I've tried the simple one, the Garnier one, but I love this the most and this is the one that I'm continuously repurchasing because it has a gentle scent, it gets the job done, and usually with this one, I don't feel like it's drying after I rub a lot of it on my face, especially if I really did like a very thick eyeshadow and there's a lot of traces of like mascara or whatever. Um, this one I can also use even if I don't wash my face, meaning just cleansing like dirt and oil from waking up in the morning. This is really good. And I also use it for correcting any makeup mistakes. The next cleanser is actually something that maybe, I think all skin types can use as well because I know Ula Henriksen is okay for people with sensitive skin as well and this one is more for people that ha want to solve texture in their skin whether that's from acne or like any hyperpigmentation so it's an exfoliating cleanser from Ula Henriksen so this one is their pore balance facial sauna scrub and once I try this I was like blown away because Usually exfoliating cleansers are very harsh on your skin like it actually hurts because it does micro tears in your skin and it's actually harmful for your skin in the long run but not with this. I feel like it's very gentle and it has a very interesting sensation. It has the word sauna in the name which means this product actually heats up when it comes into contact with your skin while you're rubbing your hands and also when you put it in your face but you know it's not very alarming it's actually very soothing and this is a product I specifically use to address any texture in my skin or any hyperpigmentation I want to remove I don't use it every day 
but it's something that I use occasionally. Our next category is SN. That was probably the worst impersonation of Pray Tell from Pose. If you don't know what that show is, stop this video and come back later. Please Google the trailer. It's one of the most entertaining shows about underground ball culture and just fashion in general on Netflix. So anyway, Essence is the next step to either cleansing or the next step to toning. So I don't tone, so this is the step that I immediately do after cleansing. And its main purpose is basically to add back hydration for, to your skin because cleansing can be a little bit stripping of hydration and essential oils because you're trying to remove a lot of stuff sitting on top of your skin. Um, this is also a step that's responsible for prepping your skin um, to accept more products because it penetrates deeper into the skin levels and it also has a lot of active ingredients in it. So the one I'm specifically using is from Misha and it's their Time Revolution, the first treatment essence in intensive moist. This is the product that they say is the dupe for SK2, which is why I bought it and my life has been changed. I try this because, to be honest, I couldn't afford SK2 at that time. So this is the one that I bought and I really like it. I can really see the difference from when I use this product consistently versus when I don't, which is now because as you can see it's barely there's barely anything left and i'm really really trying to preserve it because this does wonders for my skin it's very refreshing when you put it on your skin it's very light it absorbs really fast so you don't have to wait so long for it to um, dry on your face and get absorbed and it really just ensures that my skin is smooth, I don't get any texture, if I have acne, it immediately calms it down. So, love! And then our next essence is actually something that was recommended to me by a friend because she brought this to a work team building. Shout out to Sabs, hello. Um, and it she used this as a replacement for her moisturizer. So it's the Kosar X Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. So basically this product is filled with snail goop and it's very tacky, it's very sticky when you put it on your hand or on your face but don't worry it quickly absorbs into your skin and it does a really good job for making sure that it adds a boost of hydration into your skin actually i use this both in conjunction um i don't just use this and then don't use this. I usually add both of these in my skincare routine because it's that good. And I usually bring this when I travel and I wanna pack light, although I never do, but if I don't wanna bring as much skincare, I just bring this instead of two products. Um, you can also use this product for like any dry patches in your skin. If you have a burn, if you have a wound, etc. For some reason, it helps with the healing process, even sunburn. So it's a very multi-purpose product. So our next product is your magical beauty potion because this is what's going to be responsible for giving you velvety, luxurious skin all year long. And it's main purpose is actually intervening in our cell renewal process and making sure we have even skin both in color and in texture so if you're dealing with any hyperpigmentation from acne scarring or you're dealing with any texture from just overusing a product or just a change in weather a change in water etc this is your girl so um, the one I specifically love is the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum and it's from Drunk Elephant. So I have a trial size with me because usually when 
I try exfoliators. I try to get a trial size as much as possible because exfoliators can be pretty harsh. Um, so I want to see how my skin reacts to it first before I commit to a full size product. I like this one specifically because it's an AHA and a BHA and it's super packed with active ingredients and it's not very harsh on your skin so you don't get that really tingly sensation like your skin's burning from this or at least it didn't have that sensation for me um, and it has two kinds of exfoliators um, you have AHA which penetrates the upper layers of your skin to get rid of the bacteria the dirt whatever you name it, any of those nasty things. And then the BHA gets into the deeper layers of your skin to remove the same kind of nasty stuff. So um, this really targets more than you would a regular exfoliator if you're just buying like an AHA one or a BHA one. So I like that. Then this next product is that other products partner in crime so this is drunk elephants virgin marula oil so it's a face oil that's essentially just going to add a protective layer into your skin because you exfoliate it so you know how when you have a wound this is going to get a bit graphic when you have a wound or a callus and you remove that and then it reveals like fresh pink skin usually that's more sensitive and can be more wounded more easily because it's fresh it's raw so this adds a layer of protection so the skin immediately heals itself and it jam packs it with nutrients and ingredients that'll help your skin be supple dewy all that nice things so i this is my first foray into facial oils actually i know it's a big trend but because i do get oily in my t-zone i kind of i'm skeptical about other facial oils and i'm not experimenting too much because i don't want the other parts of my skin that isn't oily to get oily um so anyway this specific one I like because it's not very greasy, it absorbs well into your skin, it makes your thin skin feel tacky, and it's just an overall nice feeling. And it really does work well with the glycolic well <laughs> words with the glycolic night serum. So this next category is adding another layer of hydration into our skin, and that's moisturizers so this is probably the most expensive category in my entire skincare routine and it is because of this product it's so expensive but it's so good so i bought this in an airport with no intention of buying i just really wanted to feel luxurious i wasn't feeling very good and i tried I think almost everything in their counter too, if I'm being honest. I tried their mist, I tried the original creme de la mer, um, their eye concentrate, you name it, I've tried it. And the sales assistant was super nice not to bug me and not like gawk at me like, are you going to buy something or are you just here getting a free facial? So she didn't do that, she let me try so I loved it. Um, and. I actually ended up buying, I think this is the medium size, but this is the Moisturizing Cool Gel Cream. So because I have combination skin and it is hot in the Philippines, I wanted a very light moisturizer that still packs a punch. So I usually go for gel type moisturizers because the Creme de la Mer, although it's the cult favorite and it's the OG moisturizer from them, it's a little bit too thick for me and I was in a cold country then so I think it would work well but here I feel like it'll just make me oily so I went for this instead so honestly I have nothing but praises for this besides its cost it's great like when I tried that my skin felt so flawless I mean I look like I had no pores and all the dryness, all the texture, all the problems that my skin was feeling that day, it was gone. I just felt rich, like I didn't have a problem in the world. My skin was great. I looked great. Everything 
was right in the world. Kidding aside though, I really think this is a game changer for me. I mean, I know it costs like a kidney or like an arm and a leg, but it really does pack a punch in terms of results. And I really want to try their other products, but I am saving up for it, so we shall see. So this next product, I'm grouping in with moisturizers because people often confuse them with moisturizers and they often think, oh, it can replace a moisturizer, but it doesn't. So I'm going to address that here. And I'm using the Aven Cold Cream. So this is something that I only started using in quarantine, but I'll definitely repurchase because um, it really addressed all the texture that I suddenly got from this ECQ period. So for some reason, I don't know if it's the lack of sun or the always spending time in bed or in certain areas of the house um, affected the texture of my skin, but I suddenly got like dry flakes or just texture around my nose. And none of the products that I previously mentioned was addressing it as a whole. I mean, it would, it would be addressed like in some parts it will clear up in some parts and in some parts it won't but when i started using this man we're back in the game we have smooth skin again all is right in the world and this is why i'm going to keep repurchasing this product so our next category is going to be for the lips and it's going to be a lip sleeping mask and this one i'm specifically using is from Laneige, and i use it both as a sleeping mask and as a uh, lip balm and i love this because i'm someone that loves lipstick but i also have like dry skin and dry flakes of skin in my lips that i actually always use to pick on but ever since using this that happened less often and it is a nice base for putting on lipstick so you can buff it with a cotton bud or with any like just your fingers and it really smoothens it out and makes your lip look plump and juicy so our next category is a bit of a luxury and it's not something that you really have to incorporate in your skincare routine but I suggest you do because this is one of the products that really transformed my skin next to the exfoliator we were talking about a while ago. And this category is masks. Um, so for this one, I specifically like sheet masks and I mask three to four times a week, mainly because I think it feels like I'm going to a spa. It's a nice way to relax and it's a nice way to take care of my skin and soak up all the ingredients from the sheet mask so the one i have right now isn't really available in the philippines but i just have to mention it because i love it it's the fan beauty sheet gel mask so this one is super hydrating and i feel like i look years younger after i really have that k-drama glow um, after using this unfortunately you can only i think purchase this in hong kong or maybe china because i know fan is a Chinese actress basically she was the one that inspired this because she has great skin but another you can purchase from the Philippines that's also a favorite is Innisfree and Tony Moly so their masks are super good oh and face shop face shop is also good for sheet masks but just make sure that you don't leave it for too long in your face because it can dry up so if the mask is already dry meaning it soaked up your skin soaked up all the essence you should immediately take it off i know it's advisable that you only leave it 10 to 15 minutes because if you leave it for longer it can do a reverse effect meaning it'll suck back the moisture into the sheet because it's too dry we're down to our second to the last category and that's ampoule so ampoules are basically just another type of skincare product that's thicker in consistency and are packed with more active ingredients they also penetrate deeper into your skin even deeper than essences and they are usually used as special treatments so they specifically address skincare concerns whereas essences are more a general 
type of category. So the one I love is from Misha and it's the Time Revolution Night Repair Barabbit Ampule. And I suggest you take a really close look at the bottle and you remember that it's Barabbit because I know they released like a new version of this and I think it's in a white bottle. And based from the reviews and from feedback from friends and my boyfriend, it's not as good as this original one. Um, I mainly use this at night as the name suggests. So every time I lack sleep or I'm just not having a good skin day, I know this is working double time to repair whatever damage I caused to my skin. So we're down to our last category and this one is a product that you've seen on this channel multiple times and it's the Cuddly Grape Water Facial Mist. So would it really be a Nick Beauty video without this product? So this one I just tried this year. It's the first time I've tried a facial mist. Oh, I meant last year because I purchased this last year. Um, this is the first time I've tried facial mist because honestly, I thought it was a scam. It was all marketing and it wasn't really doing much for your face. But after trying this, I'm a changed woman. I really really like this because the mist is fine it adds hydration back into your skin and it's a nice way to wet your beauty blender again it's a nice way to refresh yourself after a really hot and sweaty day um, it's also a nice and convenient way to add back moisture into your skin without like padding and it dries more quickly than when you put a toner or an essence in your skin so that's it. That's the roundup of all the products that I think is worth your money in terms of improving your skincare game. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you learned a thing or two about skincare and how to use each category of this, your skincare routine. If you guys do end up purchasing any of the products I mentioned, please do tag me on Instagram or comment down below. I'd be interested to know what you guys ended up trying and what are the effects of the products on your skin. I hope these products do change your skin as much as it did for me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!